You might think being here in Silicon Valley that the uh, all the companies in these incubators would be uh, oh about social networking or some technology thing, but no, I'm seeing a trend where there's different kinds of startups coming up. One of them is Love with Food, which is, ships you a box of uh, food every month, and uh, we'll hear about it and uh, understand what's going on here in Silicon Valley that's so non-techy. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, my name is Ai Wei Ong. I'm the CEO founder of Love With Food. So what we do is we're a monthly subscription service that seduces your taste buds every month. I started off as a Ruby on Rails developer, and I'm a big foodie, and I find that it's so hard to find tasty food in America, and I want to um, launch a company that helps Americans find food uh, in a much easier way. Very cool. And so every month, if I buy your service, I get a box of food. You might show me a, what yeah. the box looks like. Yeah, um, it's a love with food box. And this is the one for February, so we're getting a Valentine's Day. Yes, every month is a different theme. We curate based on different theme. This month is Valentine's Day, so everything is chocolate. So you actually get um, uh, espresso chocolate cookies to pair with your wine, and dark chocolate uh, chocolate that pairs with your wine. And for every box you get, we donate a meal to No Kid Hungry. Very cool. Yeah, so we help you to fall in love with food at the same time shower your love with food. Very cool. Tell me a, a little bit about building this company. First of all, this is uh, you sell this for $14. It's, it's a subscription thing yes. every month. It's a monthly and subscription. And so next month I'll get a totally different thing. I might get nuts or dried fruits yes. or something like that. Next month is uh, Hikers Essential because uh, we are welcoming spring. So everything that will be just a sneak peek, uh, that will be Asian jerky, that are nuts, and that's also um, dried fruits so that you can easily uh, put in your bag and go for a hike. This is really interesting because you're you're charging the consumer and giving them all the value. Yeah. I imagine that a lot of food companies will want to get to your audience after you build it up because they'll probably be influencers on what, what food brands get popular at Safeway or at a, at a grocery store. Are you thinking of taking the business in that direction? Yeah, so what we want to do is we want to disrupt Safeway. So what you're eating right now is basically whatever brands can afford to pay for shelf life. It's yeah. not because it's tasty. And we want to disrupt that. We want to bring you what's tasty and what we think is uh, has a good story to do up to your door, make it easier. So uh, Safeway's boring. Whole Foods is really fun. I love going to Whole Foods, but it's very expensive. So we don't want you to make the commitment right now. That's why we sent you a box of uh, bite-sized items. You like it, and then you come back to our site to purchase the full size. Oh, okay. So, yeah. so if I like that chocolate, I can order more of that? Yes, on? you can go crazy. That's why you want to make a commitment. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like chocolate. I could go crazy on chocolate. <laughs> um, tell me about build, building this business. You're in the 500 Startups Incubator. Tell me about the process of going through that and, uh, and how that helped you build the business. Oh, uh, we actually pivoted along the way. So when we came into 500, we were another different food business, but we felt that the subscription business was uh, what our consumer wanted. So we decided to pivot in November. And it's been really helpful, and uh, I'm a single founder, so the people here has been really helpful, supporting me, cheering me along. You know, the mentorship uh, here has been really great. And uh, you know whether it's technical or raising funding, I can always find someone to ask a question and uh, charge forward. Yeah, yeah. You just uh, completed a, a range of demo days over the last two weeks. Yes. What What was the reaction from investors and from the press to your uh, idea? Oh, uh, we got a lot of press coverage. Uh, we were on TechCrunch, Mashable, TNW, uh, Huffington Post. Uh, th that has really helped us a lot because yeah. we launched in December. And, uh, and then in terms of uh, meeting investors, you know, it was like a great push putting us in front of like, you know, 600 investors. And we got many great meetings over the last two weeks. And everyone is interested because, you know, subscription model is an up and coming uh, trend that people see because of Birchbox, Whoopi Parker. So uh, we're starting uh, to see an interest in food because everyone eats, right? It's a $50 billion market. Yeah. yeah. I, I imagine that your market um, won't be TechCrunch users, right? Because <laughs> most of us are guys and we don't, we don't, uh, aren't into this. I, I imagine, and here's a thesis and I'll see how you react. Okay. That your market will be something like o Oprah's audience or uh, 
maybe life hacker or, or maybe food network you know yeah uh, yeah so how are you going to go from the tech crunch the geeky audience to the mainstream audience is the, i guess the question. yeah so that's a good point that was my hypothesis too um that our crowd would probably be people who watch paula dean rachel ray food network um, you know, people who read the food magazine. But recently we launched, uh, we actually was in, New we were in New York and we hosted a Love With Food party. So we invited all the New York uh, subscribers to our party and I asked them, how did you find, uh, find out about us? They said, we found you on TechCrunch. Yeah. <laughs> I was really surprised. Yeah, but I guess um, when it comes to con consumption of food, you know, people just, uh, uh, whether yeah a gig or not, you know, people just like a little surprise that is uh, that makes their tummy happy every month. Very cool. Um, tell me about building the company. Have you gotten funded, and and uh, is there investment? In, are you fighting off the investors the way some of these companies are? Oh well, we are um, essentially, you know, like subscription model. We have a product, so like what you say, um, you know, we might not be a, a sexy tech company. Yeah, but uh, the good thing in the Valley is we are starting to see uh, a lot of subscription companies getting funded. So we're getting interest from those companies who see us as an e-commerce uh, platform to distribute food. Very cool. Yeah. Since you've been through 500 startups now, what's your advice for the next class? How, how do, what should they come here prepared to do to be successful in, in one of these incubators? Just hustle all the way, 24-7. Um, I'm an engineer and doesn't mean that I should just sit at my desk and code 24-7. I think hustling really helps, like whether it's investors or the press. And I'm not sure if you read on TechCrunch, I, we, got, we got picked by uh, Alexia as one of the top sevens because I uh, hustle in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm a bathroom stalker. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that won't work with me, I don't think. I well, if, if I have to do it, I will. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Where, where do, <laughs> where do we? I gotta go read this TechCrunch post now. <laughs> I, I miss that. So, where do we uh, learn more about your business? Oh, it's lovewithfood.com. Very cool. And yeah. are you on Twitter and Facebook? And all yes. That stuff? Yeah. Very right. cool. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. Thank you so much for having me. See, be. now you don't have to hustle me in the bathroom. No, I don't. <laughs>